what makes a home? Can you remember what our four concepts mean? Loyalty, to stay faithful. Adversity, to find something difficult. Belonging, a sense of fitting in. Love, an intense feeling of liking something or someone. Let's recap our learning in geography so far. The seven continents. Say them with me. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, Antarctica. Now the five oceans, Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, Arctic. Now the places in the Arctic Circle. Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia. Let's recap our work on the climate of the Arctic. Remember it is known as the tundra. This means it is the coldest climate in the world. It is a dry place with not much water. The ground is permanently frozen. The land can't support many plants or animal life. We looked at the physical features. Lots of you sent me some videos of you acting them out or you drew them out for me or some of you did both. But here's Miss Drayton acting out the physical features. So in the Arctic, there is the Arctic Ocean, there are lakes, hills, rivers, coastlines and cliffs, mountains, icebergs and sea ice. Before half term, we looked at global warming and again, you did some brilliant posters for me, some of you. Some of you did some really good speeches as well all about how we should stop, slow down and stop global warming to save the Arctic. So remember, global warming causes lots of serious problems all around the world, including in the Arctic and the other polar region, Antarctica, because they have lots of ice. And at the moment, with global warming, the ice is melting, which means polar animals, like the polar bear in the picture, won't have anywhere to live and the sea levels across the world will rise. So we must protect and save the Arctic, along with the rest of the world. But remember, we're learning, focusing particularly on the Arctic. Today's new learning. Today, we're learning to find out about the animals of the Arctic. So I'll be looking for children who can name some Arctic animals. And I'm sure lots of you can already because they were in our stories in English. Can use a key. So it's not a key to unlock a treasure chest or a key to unlock a door. That's a geography key and can use the key to answer geographical questions. So challenge, pause the video. How many of these Arctic animals can you name? So how many did you get? There you go. We have polar bear, beluga whale, arctic hare, puffin, moose, arctic wolf, walrus, muskox, harp seal, which is a type of seal, caribou, which is commonly known as reindeer, dal sheep, arctic squirrel, brown bear, Narwhal. There are lots of other Arctic animals as well. I have a little video to share with you.
So there are some animals in their Arctic habitat that you could actually see live walking around and so on. So we're going to use a map that looks a little bit like this. This is as if the glow, we're looking down on the North Pole, above it from space, looking down on the top of the globe. The dotted line, that is the dotted line of where the Arctic Circle is. So everything inside that dotted line, inside the circle, that's the Arctic. Everything outside it is not the Arctic. We've talked about that when we looked at, at the countries. It's the tops of the countries that are in the Arctic Circle, not the whole of the countries. So only this part of Russia is in the Arctic Circle, in the Arctic. This part of Russia is not. And the same with the other countries. Same with the top of Finland, the top of Sweden, the top of Norway, quite a lot of Greenland. You can see that, quite a lot of Greenland, the top of Canada and the top of Alaska. So this is what the map in more detail is going to look like with your work today. We have our key. So I said, not a key to unlock anything, a key where symbols, pictures mean things. So that there doesn't have to be lots and lots of writing all over the map that isn't easy to read. Pictures are on it instead to show and help you understand what the map is trying to show. So each of these pictures represents an animal. Doesn't just mean one animal. So for example, this picture means polar bear. Here in Alaska, there's a picture of a polar bear. It doesn't mean there's just one polar bear there in Alaska. It just means polar bears live in Alaska. And you can see that symbol is also here for Canada. So polar bears also live in Canada. And in Greenland, there they are, in Greenland. They also are in Norway, but they're not in Sweden. They're not in Finland, but they are in Russia. So each of these pictures shows you which animals out of these animals, so obviously it's not every single animal, they're only here seven different animals that they've chosen to show you which countries those seven animals can be found. So if we look at the Arctic wolf, that's this picture, which countries can you see the Arctic wolf in? Can you see the Arctic wolf in Russia? No, the Arctic wolf picture is not there. So the Arctic wolf cannot be found in Russia. Is it in Finland? No, you can see actually none of these animals can be found in Finland, in the Arctic part of Finland. Doesn't mean there aren't animals there, just means these particular animals cannot be found there. Other Arctic animals may be there. What about Sweden? Again, no, or Norway. So the Arctic wolf is not over here at all. Let's check this side of the Arctic circle. Can you see the Arctic wolf over here in Greenland? Yes, there. There's the Arctic wolf picture. So that means Arctic wolves can be found in Greenland. Can they be found here in Canada? Yes, there's the picture. What about in Alaska? Yes, they're found in Alaska. So your task is to use the key, there it is a bit closer, to find out which countries of the Arctic Circle can you find polar bears, Arctic wolves, musk oxes, walruses, harp seals, arctic hares and reindeers or caribou. There's the map a bit closer. 
So there are particular questions that you will be given on Seesaw. If you would like to put this into your explore book by drawing out pictures or writing out sentences, you can. But I'm happy for you to do it into Seesaw as well. So the questions are, what animals are found in northern Canada? OK, you can see question one here. What animals are found in northern Canada? Circle the pictures. So you look back at the map in Seesaw and decide which animals you need to put a circle around if they are in northern Canada. Number two, what animals are found in northern Russia? Again, look back, decide which ones are in northern Russia. You are not going to circle every picture for every question because not every animal is found in each place. Three, what animals are found in northern Greenland? Four, what animals are found in northern Alaska? Then there are some questions where you have to write an answer. Which animal is only found in Canada? If you can work that one out, which one is only found in Canada? Which animal is only in Canada? So it's not anywhere else. Which country only has one of these animals living there? How many animals are found in northern Russia? So that's a question of how many, so you need to write a number, how many are found. How many animals are found in northern Canada? The nether and number one. And number nine, which country in the Arctic Circle doesn't have any Arctic animals living there? I've actually already told you the answer to that one. Which one has no animals of those animals living in it? Remember, you can always do some extra exploring on a DZ if you would like to, or do perhaps one of the quizzes.